They're actually a little over 200 amp hours, which is nice. And I've actually watched some videos. I haven't done this myself as it's not, you're not supposed to, but I have watched a teardown video of these and they show that basically it's a well-built, simple lithium iron phosphate battery and the build quality of them is consistent. They have a few of the protections that you need in the BMS. One thing they're missing is a low temperature sensor, which you don't really need as long as your charge controller for your solar panels has a low temperature sensor, then it won't feed in electricity to these batteries if they are below zero. But they have the other protections that you need like overcurrent protection, over charge protection, over discharge protection, short circuit protection, and a high temperature sensor. The other reason I wanted to partner with Rodoto on these batteries is because of the price. They are so well priced. I just simply connected these to each other, connected the negative to my shunt, connected my positive to my positive bus bar, and everything in my motorhome is working again. I've upgraded the capacity 100 amp hours plus more considering I had damaged those other batteries. And it's just a simple setup that I did myself. And it may not look that pretty, but everything is safe. Everything functions well. And this is a system that I've now ran for two years. These batteries are the new addition to that to just up my capacity. And I'm so thankful that there are batteries out there like these ones that are well-priced, 